You may have a computer that's starting up, so to say, runs for a few minutes, and then it either locks up, freezes, or just powers off. Um, that can be a couple of different reasons for that. Uh, your computer may also kind of start up, but not start up all the way, uh, lock up in your BIOS, and in general might even just run pretty slow. And there's going to be a couple of possibilities for that. But the uh, most common thing, if you have, especially all those symptoms, is dust. Uh, dirt, dust, grime, you name it. Um, it gets clogged up in your system and it causes your system overheat. And as a result, it doesn't work as expected. Uh, so this is actually an HP system. I've already taken the front panel off of it. Um, but some systems you'll have like a little graded fan uh, casing on the front, kind of like this guy here. I have kind of this here. You want to kind of make sure that's clean of anything that might be blocking it. Um, this is kind of similar to most HP tower designs. Notice that there's really no airflow um, that you can really get on the side. Sometimes there's some slots on the side. Make sure those are clean. And sometimes they're right on the bottom, like this one here. Uh, that's your only airflow, so you want to make sure that's clear. That's why that one's actually up on a rack. But uh, here's an inside look of one of these HP front covers. As you can see, there's no ventilation on the front. The only thing you have is on the bottom. And you can see it's pretty much got a little bit of hair in it, not too bad. And uh, that's how your air gets into the front. So you just go through, scrape this crap out. And Most of these HPs, once you take the front panel off, you're going to have something kind of like this. This one's not too bad. Um, I'm actually cleaning up to help reduce the possibility of some of the issues I'm seeing uh, on this one for a customer. But you kind of get some dust here, dirt. You just kind of collect it up. and That's actually not too bad. <laughs> I've seen far worse and make sure you check around your um, memory card readers, CD drives, things of that sort, um, your hard drives, I actually unscrewed this bracket here so I can actually kind of show you hard drives, dust will build up right under here and kind of in that gap there around them and if that happens your hard drive overheats and your hard drive will fail much sooner. Um, other thing to keep an eye out on is your graphics card, as you can see, um, it's supposed to be a black fan, not brownish gray. So we need to clean that. Your main fan in the back here, uh, you got a little bit on this one. It's not too bad. Um, you can dust that off usually with just a little can of air. The uh, main fan inside the system for your processor, as you can see there, that uh, is. <laughs> Not supposed to be a solid color. It's supposed to be kind of more like that there where you can see the fins. So this one definitely needs some cleaning up there. You got some there. There's some clogging there. I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can kind of see in here. The light isn't going to really cooperate here. But you can kind of see down there. Um, it's about 50% clogged up here. And you have the power supply back of that. It's got some dust clogging on that basically the same as the fan here inside of there it's going to be pretty much the same so how do you clean this stuff up well as you kind of saw me do on the front here if you can just kind of roll it up into a ball go ahead and do it um, a vacuum cleaner is even better just take it suck all the dirt right off of it don't actually contact the surface have it probably about um, I'd say that's like a quarter inch or so, about that far away from the system when you're actually doing it. Uh, same thing for the internal components. You can use a vacuum in there. Again, you want to keep everything about a quarter inch away um, to a half an inch. And now I'll usually pull the dust off fine. Uh, something like this here where the dust is actually kind of packed in there. Uh, the vacuum will usually kind of do it. But if you have a uh, one of these little straws from your cans of air you can actually go through and kind of take it and 
kind of just see I'm scraping it. It it comes off, loosens it up. I like to go through, loosen it up a bit when it's stubborn. I'll actually take a vacuum to this one, but I'm not going to try and record vacuuming because you won't be able to hear anything and the noise is god awful loud. Um, something like this here, can of air usually will do the trick. A couple little blasts. Where's my can? Uh, will usually do the job. And as you're going to see, it just kind of separates that stuff really good. And as I'm doing, I'm kind of giving it a little kind of blast. I'm not holding it down. If you do that, you're just really wasting your can of air. And you're not really getting the most power out of it. The most power is going to come out of that initial blast when you hold it down. It kind of gives a blast and it gets weaker. So kind of just blasting it in burst will actually give you more dust breaking capability. If I was to hit this main fan down here, I would not want to really do an angle like this because the chances are you're going to get a little bit of liquid up in here. You want to have your can more at a uh, kind of like a 90 degree angle upright position. So if I was going to use a can of air on this, I'd set up on its side. And then the graphics card. Um, the only thing you can really do about these is go through and take them out of the system to clean them. And the best way to do that, I have a video on replacing graphics card, it's pretty much the same thing. Got the card out of the system, as you can see, it's actually got dust uh, coating it. And you can kind of see in there a little bit, kind of hard, but you see nothing but solid gray back there. That means the um, card is clogged with dust. And if you kind of, you can't really see it here, but... Another rule I have is if I take it up to a bright light, like this here, got it pretty much right from my main light, you don't really see light through there. You should be able to see something. Um, kind of like how right there in the middle of the screen there, you can see light pretty much straight through it. That's kind of normal. This pure blockage, little pinholes of light, bad. So... This guy, best thing uh, you can really do on that, take your can of air, throw it on this side, blast it through. It's going to push the dirt right on out where it's basically originating from in here. And then you can use uh, one of those little uh, straw sticks basically to scrape it out. The power supply is just a can of air, should do the trick. Same thing with these rear fans. Uh, another tip for you is do not let the fan spin up. So if you're going through and you're blasting the fan, I'm going to do what I said not to do earlier, and you get something like that going on, where it's just spinning really high like that, that's a, that's a bad thing. You can take your uh, little stick straw, basically just put it in there like an angle, brace it against something, and then that way if you really get it cranked down, you can see that thing ain't moving. Uh, the reason you don't want to spin up like that is if you uh, go through and get the high RPM spinning like it is there, they're not intended to spin at such a high speed. So you actually can wear out your fan or damage it in that process. So next time you go and turn your system, all of a sudden you've got this clunky grinding noise. No good. Um, the more sensitive ones are going to be the actual processor fans on that. Um, there's also another possibility of you could actually generate some electricity with these. Uh, think of them as basically motors and with the system off and it's spinning freely you're actually causing electricity to be generated in the coil in here and uh, shoot back through the system. So instead of the coil generating uh, energy to spin the propeller blades you're doing the opposite. You're actually um, sending it through the system. So. Uh, that's generally it. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with actually cleaning that there because what I showed you is basically the deal. You just use your can of air and just blast the heck out of it. You can see little puffs of dirt coming out and 
show you a little bit there. You can see it coming out the metal casing. This makes it hard to film, but you get the idea. So hope that helps somebody out here. If you got any more questions, just post them or send me a message. Well, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you should see once it's nice and clean, white. I can see the light.